Hey guys, uh, so if you caught the podcast yesterday, you'll know that we said we've got quite a few videos planned, just with stuff that's built up over time, and last week we said we unboxed uh, the Nomad Touch dispenser from Nespresso, and we said that we had other ones that we wanted to unbox as well. Um, and then we're going to do a video at the end where we put them against each other, and we rank them, the top to bottom, ours, and you can leave yours as well. Um, but we just thought we'd look, unbox and look at this one today, and it's the View Bombardier. Now, this one on the Nespresso website in the UK is priced at £19. Uh, so that's a touch over £15 if you get it with a discount. You know, your 20% discount if you're entitled to that. Um, when, that when I first got the machine about five years ago, I looked at this one. And while it looked interesting as a dispenser, I thought to myself, well, I don't really know if I want a dispenser that rolls around everywhere. And it's described on the Nespresso website as a rocking uh, dispenser. Now, having done a little bit more research, I'm not entirely sure that's exactly how it works, whether it does roll around all the time. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to unbox it, and I'm going to see what it looks like and how it actually works. And we're going to see if it fits. It says it fits 50 original pods. Um, so I'm going to put 50 in, see if it comfortably holds 50, or is that like maximum capacity if it wasn't on its side? Do you know what I mean? Just to give a bit more clarification, on the website for Nespresso, there's no dimensions, um, there's very little information and there's only one, I think there's one picture. Uh, so let's get it out, let's get it unboxed and see what it looks like and how it works. It's made of toughened plastic again, like plexiglass. I do like these when they open, like oh, they, when the boxes come from Nespresso, they just slide out. You'll know if you've had an accessory from Nespresso, the boxes really do feel premium quality. Um, so that's the Bombardier. I'm calling it Bombardier, maybe Bombardier, but... I'm settled on Bombardier. Uh, so as we see on underneath, ah, so yeah, it does actually have like a flattened surface here. I'll just take the uh, little leaflet out that comes, it's got an espresso branding on the front and then it's got like a flattened surface, if you can just see that. And that, I'm guessing then, just sort of sits like that. So it doesn't actually roll around unless you push it. It can roll around, I suppose. Yeah, so I don't know whether you're supposed to get skilled of like, say I want to get it, do I pull it, am I supposed to just leave it like that or pull it to one side and then put it back to its rock, is that why it's described as rocking? Um, but it's, like I say, it says it fits 50 pods. So I've got, I'm not going to, like, sometimes I count them in, don't I? But I've got 50 ready here, I'm not going to sit there and make you sit and watch me put 50 pods in individually. You'll have to trust me that there's 50. Someone mentioned on the video the other day about, um, not damaging the pods and stuff, so I'm gonna, I should have done that then really. I'll just put them in a little bit more gently this time. We'll just see, so it is a big container, and we'll give you the dimensions in a minute. The only reason I'm doing this is because I've just tried to tip them in, and I thought I'd be able to tip them in gently, but it's not happening. Just because of this, it's got like a, a circular bit, but then it's got like a frame around it. So they were just bouncing off that when I tried to put it in then. But we see we comfortably fit 50 Nespresso pods in there. One second, I'll just get it set up. So where's that bit, a bit on the base again? There it is. So it just, it does. I'm, I've got big hands. I mentioned this on the, um, the podcast. But again, we get this problem where we get it with all these kind of dispensers. You see, I like the ones where you can just put your hand straight in and grab a pod. And you don't have to have a lid on it. Don't have to open a lid with one hand while you're trying to brew a coffee or anything like that. Um, however, it can be annoying if you can see maybe a pod, like say this ristretto one down here. Um, I can't see a ristretto on top, so I'm going to have to try and ferry around and try and get it. And you can hear that as well, actually. That's interesting. Little squeaks coming from it. So that does really annoy people, some people. That it, It's mentioned it with the View Cube as well. We did a, an unboxing and, re and a review of the View Cube ages ago. So try and find that if you're interested in that on the um, channel page. Um, but that squeaking, I don't really, you know, my wife's face, pulling a funny face, because I'm guessing you don't like that. No, shaking her head, she doesn't like that. Um, so that's, these are things that you don't get just by looking at the website, do you? But the actual functionality of it is better than I thought. Uh, I do quite, what do we think of the look? I like it. You like I think it? It looks quite nice, yeah. It's quite a nice look to it, but it, like you see an aged Sumatra down there, if I want to try and get to it, I can. 
But uh, I don't know if my wife can reach down and give you a more accurate view of a normal hand, <laughs> a normal size down. Easy. Um, easy, yeah. Yeah, also, before I forget, virtual owners. Uh, we mentioned with the Touch Nomad that you can't use that one because it wouldn't fit the pods in. This one, this is actually about 12 centimetres wide, this gap here. Um, so you can use this and I've managed to fit about 25 pods in here. Uh, different varieties, you know, some mug size ones. I haven't got any Alto in there. Um, but you can see the Zimbabwe, the espresso size ones. So about 25 pods in there and it's sort of, yeah, my wife's just coming in there, it's sort of on the edge. You can still roll it around if you want to. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to do this, roll it around, but I'm guessing you'd think that's what it's been designed for, to be shaped like that. But one other thing I thought I should mention is if you're not into that sort of tilted design, you could have it like that and just spin the flat bit to the back or put it aside like that, couldn't you? So the Nespresso branding is showing if you want it showing. Or you could turn it round if you don't. Um, but it can be used as an upright container if that works better with your surfaces and that's what you're thinking to use it, how you're thinking to use it. Um, so yeah. So we don't want to give it too much stick. It's a nice little item, it's cheap. Ni well, cheap compared to some of the other dispensers. Um, but there are, you know, someone asked, said they have a drawer system um, that they got, like, a, that's not sold by Nespresso, they're sold on Amazon. Um, so that came up twice in the Touch Nomad review we did, in quick succession in the comments. So I thought, right, I'll get hold of one of them. So I have actually bought one, so we're going to be looking at that one as well in the coming days. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe. Dimension. I'll give you the dimensions now as well. Um, we'll just go off camera now, and I'll get the dimensions for you. So we've just, we've just done a few measurements there, and the... The height and the depth is roughly 20 centimetres. It's quite hard to measure because it's a, a funny shaped thing. Um, but And this bit across the diameter from here to here, not here to here, is 18 centimetres. Um, so you, my wife said that she quite liked it. It's just that noise, just that noise it's making squeaking around. But what did you say about it? It looks like, uh, it just looks quite cute. It looks like a little like, sweet jar, but the noise, I think, if you um, if you don't like, you know, like scratching on chalkboards and stuff like that, that yeah. is the kind of sound you get from it. But I, I do like the look of it. Yeah, and we did we reviewed the pure rock dispenser in the past. That's made from a slightly different material, like it's more plasticky, isn't it? Mm. And you could, but it's not glass as well. That you could get confused if you looked at it on the website thinking it was glass. I've seen a few people who bought the View Cube and they're furious when they get it, and the reviews I've read where they're like, it's not glass, or so stop advertising it as glass. But what they're actually doing on that, I think it was advertised as plexiglass. So that can be confusing and it's not, that's like a toughened plastic that's shatterproof. So that's what this is. I don't know, this, it's, it's called PMMA or something. So yeah, let us know if you like it in the comments. Uh, give the video a like if it's helped you out. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future upcoming videos. Uh, we've got loads to come. We've got, it's not just unboxings. We've got taste, you know, uh, coffee tastings, coffee comparisons. Um, loads of different things to uh, to come machines as well still trying to get hold of maybe a creatista uno trying to trying to do that perhaps but it's whether we, uh, we, my, my wife will let me <laughs> i've got so many machines in the kitchen now we'll see uh, but thanks for watching and bye for now